What's good there, my squad? Back at it for another reaction video. Today we got Felicia versus Toakaka. Toakaka? I don't know. Don't know much about these characters. But to find out today, don't forget to subscribe, leave a big like, and let's get right into it. Stick. Not only do we have two ferocious females in the ring today, but they're also, well, cats. Felicia, the pop star demon cat chick lady. And Tao Kaka, Blaze Blue's Tao Kaka. He's Liz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. And she was posted. As a cat woman, Felicia faced discrimination all her life. She was raised by a nun and aspired to become a successful pop star. A passion that would ultimately lead her on a quest. Damn! So you don't want no clothes? To make children happy. What the hell? I thought we were talking about a deadly demon warrior. And is she naked? I don't know. But she's a cat. Yes. <laughs> you think you'd be wrong to... Yes. Felicia. Why? <laughs> Why is she... Why does she have no clothes on? Number one. Number two. Chatty like see this two little things on his what? I don't understand. I'm gonna try to do some freaking up to a damn human cap. <laughs> is a dark stalker, a creature of the night, and naturally possesses supernatural strength, speed, and agility. She can also use her unique cat sense to sniff out enemies from extreme distances. She can tear into her foes with the sharp claws resting in her big ass paws, each several inches long and capable of tearing through all kinds of armor. To top like it off, her tail is extremely Stop. strong, able to lift her entire body on its own. She's undeniably one of the faster dark stalkers and can get around the battlefield with her unpredictable rolling smash delta kicks and rolling buckler Felicia, she can really move. Felicia, she's got an attitude. yes boomstick we get it she's like sonic anyway as a dark stalker she has a natural effect she like sonic. able to use it in the form of her only ranged attack kicking sand Felicia's litter box train. As she was raised by a nun, even becoming one herself, she has little to no combat training, preferring to focus on her singing career and running an orphanage. As such, she relies on her lethal, feral instincts in a fight. But these same instincts also lead her to be easily distracted by ferocious enemies like butterflies, rogue balls of yarn, and paper. Wrinkles. The other dark stalkers often consider Felicia to be one of the weakest of their kind, but. So, I mean, she seemed pretty strong. Just the fact that she has, like, no combat training, like, at all. Might be her downfall to the battle. With the help of her friends, she somehow manages to hold her own against demon lords, spellcasters, and all powerful aliens. This one cat she didn't even put them things away. She got that button. Sure could use a cat nap. <laughs> what the hell? Is that chick wearing a cat hoodie? No, that's a special cloak designed to fit her caca body. Her what body? Caca. Caca is a vigilante of the caca tribe, a cat like people descended from genetically engineered living weapons. Her genetics provide her with a natural fighting instinct. She is the guardian of the Kaka, implying that she is the best fighter of the group. Well, she may be a good fighter, she is one dumb cat. Unfortunately, Tao has she an added. incredibly severe case of ADHD. While she hunts bounties intent on improving her fighting skill and bringing money to her family, she often winds up completely forgetting about her mission at the worst of times, often even befriending her would-be targets. She has three retractable dual-edged blades on her hands and feet. While they're not very long, they can transform from basic claws to Hooked size that old thing. Damn, I don't even want to think what those things will do to my couch. Tao's genes allow her to instinctively mm. access and you So she seems strong. I don't want to speak too early, but she seems strong, but also like like what's gonna be her downfall is her personality, like her being like able to like easily get distracted and things like that. A raw power Might be her downfall, but you never know. Tao can use Seether to empower and transform her claws, as well as to execute incredibly vicious attacks. However, there is only so much Seether in a given space, and once she runs out, Tao will lose many of her deadliest attributes. Also, apparently, and she also has limits, so that's another downfall. Tao likes to carry around a lot of random shit, which she then uses as projectiles during a fight. Bowling balls, apple cores, pillow, a pillow? Really? She's the fastest of the Blaze Blue cast, darting around the arena with incredibly fast combos. However, she's also the weakest stamina wise and doesn't have very many defensive options. But if you want to kick her ass, you gotta catch So she she seems skilled. Just not like her powers aren't right, strong. Combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. After I'm gonna go with about it. Damn, I don't know. I'm gonna go with this seems stupid. Damn. I'm gonna have to go with Felicia. I'm gonna do a Felicia. In the comments. Bruh. Let's get it. I know y'all already. I know I am. 
Got the nun. Oh, she's not even it. Oh, I thought that was her the the nun. Dang, they straight at it, y'all. Damn. Yo. Straight on her. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Dang, you know what this reminds me of Soul Eater? Because there was one cat lady. I'm going to pause the fight, but there was one cat lady that was on the show. If y'all know what that is, search it up. Soul Eater. Why see our butt shaking in the air like that, yo? What the heck is this? No, no, no. She'll get mad now. Dang. She messed her up. I can only imagine how her feet gonna look like at the end. She only look like Freddy Krueger and shit. Yo, she hit her with her tail? And she on and on. Get Yo, she dead. Yo, fool me once. Put the blame on you. I don't fuck that right. To have a slight speed advantage. Though Felicia had the endurance of a dark stalker, Tao's superior agility. Damn, I'm surprised. I really thought she was going to win. Like, like don't don't think about Felicia with that. Hold on, the car. Shut up. Don't think about <laughs> don't think about Felicia with that. She was like um she was dumb, but like she had like strength. So you would think. Like, yeah, like, she has strength, but, like, it's not as powerful, like, that's the way they made it seem, or, th that's what I thought, but, like, her playful personality, you would think that she would, like, goof off during the fight, which would be her, like, her mistake. Dang. Alright. The winner is Tao Kaka. We got next. next. Death battle. God of War versus Spawn, right? Yeah, Spawn. And, also... I, I'm, I'm definitely on my to react to that. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. That was... That was interesting. I wouldn't say that that's one of the best, but it's definitely interesting. I'm excited for the next death battle. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me in the description, hit that notification bell. DMR Squad out. Love y'all. Hey.